Okay, let's get started now. Let's see what have we got going on here. Okay, I am not too tired to do these, but I wasn't quite tired yesterday. I'm feeling very tired today. It's the weather. Uh, the position function, position function, now keep that in mind, Stephen, gives the position in miles bleh, of a freight train where east is a positive direction and t is measured in hours. Determine the direction the train is traveling when st equals zero. Uh, okay. Okay, so let's figure that out first. T cubed minus 8t equals zero. T, t squared minus eight equals zero. So ignore negative and zero time. Well, I mean, it's actually not clear. Like I could say t equals zero or uh, root eight, which is two root two, isn't it? Um, hours right so do they mean initially or later or both i don't know but if we calculate the velocity that's 3p squared minus 8 so the velocity at zero is minus 8 uh that's interesting actually it's heading in reverse initially um, miles per hour and then the velocity at 2 root 2 um, 8 uh, 16 isn't it miles per hour so hmm. um, that's interesting so it's either uh, either <laughs> West, if we're talking about t is zero, uh, I mean, uh, or, or east, I should capitalize that, shouldn't I? When t is two root two um, hours. So, yeah, even question, so we won't have the answer at the back. And then we want the accelerations at these moments. Okay, the acceleration. Is sixty, um, so that's um, oh no, that's not quite right. They want the direction, determine the direction. Uh, well, no, sorry, that is right, but they want to know determine the direction the train is traveling when the acceleration is zero. So when that equals zero. Um, that's just the direction at the beginning, which we said is already uh, worked out. That's west. So, so that one's definitely west. Um, funny question. Three t squared six t. Uh, oh no, sorry. I, I, no, it is right. Yeah. Uh, we want 6t to equal 0, so therefore, t has to be 0. Weird question. Determine the time interval when the train is slowing down or speeding up. So, slowing down, well, let's do speeding up first. So, speeding up is when both the velocity, 3t squared minus 8 is more than 0, and... The acceleration, 6t is more than zero. Well, that has to be true when you're just looking at positive t. And this one here, uh, you could write as root 3t minus 2 root 2, and then root 3t plus 2 root 2. That needs to be a positive. So if you graph that, um, it's here. When t is more than 2 root 2 over 3 hours. Uh, root 3 hours. So that's when t is more than 2 root 6 over 3. 2, two over 3 hours. 
Okay, and then slowing down. What's that sound? Blech. So we're cutting the grass. Uh, slowing down is when you have the opposite. One is positive and the other is, is negative. So that's... Um, oh, well, actually, there's a second half of, of speeding up when they're both negative. So um, both negative. So that would just be or. Um, well, actually, there isn't really an or here, is there? Could, well, no, there could be. So this would be negative here. But the acceleration is neg never negative. So, it's, yeah, it's just that. And then uh, slowing down. That's going to be when they're opposite. So like when the speed is, velocity is positive, but the acceleration is negative, which we can't have. So maybe it's the other situation. When the uh, velocity is uh, negative, but the acceleration is positive. So that would be T uh, between two root six over three and zero. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think I have it uh, hours. I think I have it. So. At the beginning, the train is heading into reverse um, at eight miles per hour, and then it slows down, stops, and then starts to travel forward, speed up. Um, yeah. And uh, what was the two root two from earlier? Oh, this is when the train is uh, back at the uh, origin. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I think that's okay. So if we're, if we're to just kind of map out what's happening. It starts here at T is zero. Then it heads backwards. And then here, I assume when T is two root two. Um, no, that's not two root two. Uh, it stops. So that it would be here, I think, at two root six over three. And then it turns around and heads back, gets back to the origin at two root two. So let me just have a look at those decimals. So that's after about 1.6 hours. And then the other answer is 2.8 hours. Yeah, okay, so after one and a bit hours here, and then after another one and a bit hours here, it's back here. Um, so as it's heading to the left, it's slowing down. So this is the slowing down stage. Um, but then once it stops and heads forwards, this is the speeding up stage. And it's, it's just gonna keep speeding up. Now I'm kind of guessing the story kind of ends again when the train gets here. So it's like some freight train that's leaving a, a depot, makes a delivery and comes back. I think that's what's happening here. So my guess is that, well, maybe not, maybe it continues forward. I don't know, I don't know. Anyway, it's okay. I think that's okay. I think that's okay. So well, that took a little bit longer than I thought, but it was, it's good to have a discussion about it. Um, I think that's all all right. So let's have a look now at 159. One fifty nine. The following graph shows the position of an object moving along a straight line. Uh, what's x and y? The following graph shows the position y equals st of an object moving along a straight line. Uh, that's probably meant to be a t, I'm guessing. 
can open a ticket about that. Uh, and this 